My name is Julius, and I get a band 9 on my first attempt at taking the IELTS speaking test. And I am a non-native English speaker like you. So today, let us study the recent IELTS speaking cue cards for the months of May, June, July, and August. Now, these topics are actually shared by students online. But just a disclaimer, it's not 100% guaranteed that you will get one of these topics in your actual IELTS speaking test. But that's alright, let's just prepare some ideas for each cue card because I always believe that it's better to be 100% prepared than feeling sorry for not preparing enough. Let's get started. The first cue card is about a time you used your phone for something really important. Let's gather some ideas. What are those occasions that you needed to use your phone? For sure, uh, there were a lot of occasions. So let's just choose one of them. Maybe for an emergency purpose. For example, you got involved in maybe in a car accident and you needed to call someone in your family to help you. Or perhaps you, uh, you got a message from someone dear to you informing you that you know one of your friends or one of your loved ones was rushed to the hospital or maybe you left something really valuable at home and you couldn't go back to your home because of your tight schedule for example let's say i left my passport uh, at home and i could no longer go back to my home because I was already at the airport. Uh, let's say I realized that I left my passport when I was already at the airport. Uh, and uh, what I needed to do was call someone in the family, maybe my brother or my sister, to help me with my situation. Let's say I asked uh, my brother to deliver my uh, passport. Uh, and let's say I needed to do that because I didn't want to miss my flight. So something like that. So just use your imagination. You don't necessarily need to tell the truth. If you can make up a story, then that would be great as well. Next, a time you helped a child. Well, there's so many instances in the past or sometime in the past that we helped a child. For instance, we helped him do his homework or we, you know, we helped him find a Halloween costume. Now here, if you're living in a developing nation or if you visited one or you watched some news about the living conditions of children in those countries, then you can use those pieces of information to create or develop a story. For example, uh, let's say you helped a child by buying him some decent food and drinks. Uh, then, you know, you can develop uh, your story by adding relevant information, such as um, the reason why you really helped that child. Then you can add uh, this information about, you know, how you felt after helping him and what realizations did you have you know, after helping that child. Anyway, some adjectives that you can use when talking about help. We have enormous, like enormous help, valuable, and conditional, and generous. If you can, use some of these adjectives to describe your help. Are you stuck at 6.5? Don't have enough time to prepare efficiently? Are you having a hard time researching ideas and vocabulary for every topic? Then I'd like to offer my reviewers to you. My reviewers helped many students pass their IELTS speaking test. They got band 7 to band 8 because they learned how to prepare strategically. Well, what you can see in my reviewers are the following. First, the interactive sample monologues for each cue card. 
This is interactive because the monologues are 90% complete. You need it to add your 10% ideas to complete the monologue to make it 100% complete. I designed it this way so you will not only read the sample monologues, you can interact with the monologues. This is to train you to think creatively, which is important in creating a story. Also, the reviewers include lexical resources that you can use for every topic, ideas, many ideas, and of course, part 3 practice questions and answers. The contents of the reviewers give you insights on how to develop a monologue naturally and how to answer part 3 questions logically and of course naturally. Take note, I said naturally or natural because that's what the examiners really want from students. You must not sound rehearsed or you must not force yourself to use big words just to sound smart because that's a no-no. You will not be able to achieve a good score if you sound like that. You must sound so natural. So the sample answers in my reviewers are conversational and at the same time natural. Anyway, let me congratulate the students who passed the IELTS speaking test uh, by using my reviewers. First, we have Jessa Dayan Sambitan, Band 8, Karine Banga, Band 7.5, Vagi Kuba, Band 7.5, Sheila Obilio, Band 7, Dadilene Dalubatan, Band 7, Wingai, Band 7, Gwinich, Band 7, Marcelina Balibao, Band 7. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much for using my reviewers. I'm so happy for your success. And to you who are watching this video, why don't you try my sample reviewers and see for yourself if you really need the full version of my reviewer. Send an email. And let's move on to the next cue card, and it's about a famous person in your country. Well, I find this easy simply because we can talk about a celebrity, an athlete, or a political leader. So, in order for you to develop an interesting monologue, I want you to focus on talking about his contributions to society. Because if you do that, you really have a lot of things to say. Now, let me give you an example. Um, here's this celebrity who is a humanitarian. Let's say he helped improve the lives of his countrymen who suffered from poverty. Not only that, he provided some um, scholarships to students who are bright yet uh, cannot afford to go to school. So if you focus on his contributions, you really have a lot of things to say uh, because you can even add your opinion about what he's doing. You can even talk about how his actions influence you. Now, if you talk about his contributions to society, then for sure you'll be able to develop an interesting monologue and at the same time you'll be able to talk for two minutes. Focus on his contributions. The fourth cue card is about a family member who you want to work with in the future. So my idea here is to basically talk about the reason why you really want to work with your sibling or with one of your parents. So maybe you have a family business and you want to learn how it is managed. So you'd like to work with your mom or with your dad. Or maybe you want to work with your brother or sister simply because you wanted to acquire a new skill. For example, um, let's say your brother is a professional filmmaker. So you wanted to work with him because you also wanted to acquire uh, the skills that he has. Then you can talk about how you would like to use the new skills in the future. Like maybe you wanted to become a content creator filming some videos that are entertaining or maybe inspiring or educational and you know you want it to be your full-time job in the future 
I think with those ideas, you'll be able to develop uh, uh, a great monologue. Uh, so again, you have to focus on the reasons why you really want to work with your brother or sister or your mom or your dad. Uh, focus on the reason. Let's move on to the next cue card and it's about a time when you were very busy. I think this is easy simply because all of us experience this. Uh, all of us experience busyness. Uh, now, if I get the SKU card, this is how I develop my story. First, I'll introduce uh, the occasion. What's the occasion? Then, what was it about that made me so busy? Then I'll focus on talking about how busy I was and how that busyness affected my relationship with my friends or family and uh, I'll add some realizations after. Now it's not enough to only talk about the reason why you're busy. You also need to talk about other important factors which I've just shared with you so you can develop a better monologue. All right now some adverbs that you can use for the word busy we have extremely incredibly incredibly busy uh, terribly and awfully for example i was incredibly busy that i forgot to eat my lunch so try using some of these adverbs let's have something you do to keep yourself focused or concentrate either at work or at school now some possible ideas that we can use we have making a to-do list uh, uh, making your workstation or study station organized that is arranging the files or throwing unnecessary uh, things on your table uh, another idea could be turning off your social media or email notifications while working or studying pick one and then focus on talking about how it improves your productivity Anyway, some helpful expressions that we can use when talking about concentration or being focused. We have deep concentration, uh, great concentration, and intense uh, concentration. Maybe you can use one of these expressions. The next cue card is about an invention that changed the world for the better. Well, there are so many inventions out there that really improved the world and at the same time the lives of people. In my reviewer or ebook, I simply talked about the invention of penicillin, how it was discovered by Alexander Fleming, how it saved the lives of soldiers in the early 1930s, and how it revolutionized the medical industry. So my advice here is to collect some relevant information so that you can develop a substantial uh, monologue. When you have ideas, it's so easy to create a story because you really have something to say. Don't be like other students who take the test without any preparation. You must prepare because if you don't, you just uh, repeat yourself uh, during your actual IELTS test. I mean, uh, you repeat your ideas, you repeat your sentences, uh, you panic, and worse, yeah, you can't say anything. You must prepare in order for you to develop a better monologue and to express yourself better. Before we continue, I would love to congratulate my students who took uh, online coaching sessions with me. First, Lovely V, Band 8, Jessa Dayan Sambitan, Band 8, Kyle Jandy, Band 7.5, Karine Banga, Band 7.5, Isil Jane Padao, Band 7.5, Katrina Cruz, Band 7, Marcelina Balibao, Band 7, Sheila Obilio, Band 7, Janeth Hofalar, Band 7, Ryan, Band 7, Gwinich, Band 7, AJ Riliyama, Band 7, and Dadilin Dalubatan, Band 7. Congratulations everyone, I'm just so happy uh, that you passed the IELTS speaking test. Thank you so much for trusting me to coach you. Uh, I'm so happy uh, that you can now live your American dream. 
Also, let me congratulate my viewers who only watched my videos and passed the test. Regine Joy Acosta, Band 8. Charmy Varsinilia, Band 7.5. Jenny Mariam Sam, Band 7.5. Kaur Diol, Band 7. And Jam Abelia, Band 7. I'm the happiest to know uh, that you all passed the test. Congratulations. And to you all who are watching this video, I'm just really looking forward that you'll be the next person whom I can give a shout out. So those are uh, the students who passed the IELTS test from April to May. Congratulations. Next, a traditional product. Well, this is also an easy topic simply because each country has its own traditional products. Wherever you are, you have some knowledge about your own traditional products. The challenge here is how you describe that product. For example, if you talk about a certain traditional food, my advice is to focus on describing the food itself, such as um, what's the food made from, how it is made, uh, you've got to mention you've got to mention the procedures of making uh, that product uh, but of course you shouldn't talk a lot about the procedures because uh, that's not uh, the most important part of your story so just give your examiner some ideas on how it is prepared um, then talk about uh, the special meaning of, of that food or of that product in your culture what's the importance of that product in your country or in your tradition or in your culture how important is that traditional food in your tradition and culture so add those uh, uh, ideas in your story so that uh, you can speak at length let's move on to our next cue card and it's about a competition you would like to take part in so what are those examples of competitions? Photography, filmmaking, sports, music or singing competitions, and many more. Or you can just make up a story about a competition that is related to your work or related to your interests or hobbies. I think that's much easier simply because you are knowledgeable about your work or your interest. Let me give you an example. In my case, I really love writing poems, so I'll just uh, use that interest of mine to make up a story about wanting to join a poem writing competition. Because of my uh, knowledge of poetry and my interest in it, I'll surely be able to develop a story easily. Try that technique and make use of your imagination. You will be able to deliver a great monologue. Our next cue card is about an interesting neighbor. All right, so here, in my reviewer, I simply make up a story about a house husband. He's interesting because he gave up his work to look after his children so his wife could work. Well, actually, his wife earns better than him. In my story, I simply added some ideas like our neighbors are judging him for making his wife work instead of him working. However, he didn't mind those judgments. He didn't care about what those people uh, were saying about him because he and his wife agreed that it was the best decision for their family. Then I also talked about uh, being a house husband is not new in this generation. However, because he's living in a very traditional town, he is not spared from criticism. Now, that's just a make-up story. It's not true. Uh, all I needed there was my imagination, my imaginative skills. Let's talk about an important river or lake in your country. Ask yourself, why is that river or lake important? Is it because of tourism, livelihood? Is it used for irrigation? 
you must have a reason or reasons uh, in order for you to develop a story out of this topic. Now, I advise you to give descriptions of this river or lake. Like, how long is the river? How wide is it? Is it surrounded with a lot of trees? And I think it's also good if uh, you can add a little bit of history uh, of that river or like if there's something uh, valuable or something historic about the river or like. Anyway, some synonyms that you can use for the word important are necessary, essential, and remarkable. And some adjectives that you can use when describing a river or lake are wide, narrow, deep, shallow, fast flowing, and winding. So I think uh, these words or these adjectives are, or synonyms uh, can really help you express yourself better. So try using some of them. Let us move on to our next uh, cue card and it's about an important event that you celebrated. Well, this is one of the easiest topics as well as simply because, you know, it's relatable. You know, we, at least once a year, we uh, celebrate uh, something important, uh, an event that is really important for us. For example, our birthday. But let's not limit ourselves to only talking about birthdays. So some ideas that we can use in replacement of birthdays, we have a job promotion, um, a wedding, graduation, holidays such as Christmas for Christian people, Ramadan for Muslim people, or you can even talk about a Mother's Day or a Father's Day. Now here, to make your story more interesting, don't just talk about the food that you prepared or the food that you ate or the reason why you celebrated that special event or important event. Uh, try adding something that is unique uh, that would help you utilize your English communication skills more. For example, um, you can add ideas about uh, how that event improved your life or your realization upon celebrating that important event. Uh, you know, something like that. So if you add those uh, you know, ideas in your monologue, for sure, you'll be able to uh, express yourself more and at the same time being able to develop a monologue that is substantial. Now let's move on to our next cue card and it's about a time you lost something and got it back. So the easiest story that we can make here is to talk about a material thing that's lost. For example, our phone. But if you find it too easy and, you know, too common, uh, you can talk about non-material things. For example, um, you lost your confidence or you lost your, you know, inner peace and got it back through uh, attending some workshops or some meditations. Or maybe you lost your pet dog and thankfully someone who is so kind and loving, uh, you know, found your dog and returned it to, to you. I think that is an interesting monologue or an interesting story. Anyway, I have here an expression that can help you. The expression here is breathe a sigh of relief, which means being able to relax because something you worry about is no longer a problem. For example, I breathed a sigh of relief when I found out that my passport was just inside my bag. Why don't you use uh, that expression in your monologue? That will also help you uh, boost your score in the Criterion Lexical Resource. But take note of this, you must uh, use it in a more natural way. It shouldn't be rehearsed uh, as much as possible. You have to use that expression pretty naturally. Next, uh, something that surprised you and made you happy. So what are those instances that made you surprised and happy? A birthday surprise, job promotion surprise, winning a lottery, or 
winning any kind of competition which you didn't expect of winning in the first place. Now, if I get this cue card, I'll just simply talk about my manifestation, like how my manifestation came into a reality. Well, to give you an idea about manifestation, it's just all about writing the things that you want to happen in your life in a journal. For example, like you want to buy your own house or you want to buy a car. Now, I'll just make up a story out of this topic. Uh, for example, I'll talk about how I manifested my house um, and I was just so surprised because a few months uh, later, you know, my manifestation came into uh, a reality. So that really surprised me and made me so happy. So this idea is kind of unique. It's unique, basically. It's not very common because uh, most students uh, talk about the birthday surprise. And I think uh, a lot of students already talk about that. So try to think of uh, something else, something that is unique, just like what I have just shared with you. Talking about how my manifestation or your manifestation came into a reality. That is for sure surprising. And of course, it makes you very happy. Let's talk about a positive change in your life. Well, this is relatable again because we all go through some, you know, different changes in our lives. Some are good and some are not. But of course, let's focus on the positive one because the topic here is a positive change in your life. I don't know what positive changes you you went through or you experienced, but I can share with you some ideas such as losing weight, uh, being productive, that is, you're not wasting your time anymore on social media. What else? Um, waking up early or getting a new job. Choose one of these and um, gather some ideas so you can create a better monologue. Okay, if I get this cue card, I'll just talk about how I stopped my bad habit which was spending so much time on social media. Let's say I was able to eliminate uh, that bad habit um, because, you know, I learned how to value my time. You know, instead of using my time on social media, I learned to value my time through reading. Reading books which would... Uh, uh, promote uh, personal and professional growth. I think uh, that's a very good idea that you can even use because, you know, all of us these days are, well, I, uh, I think a lot of us uh, these days are kind of dependent on using social media and sometimes it actually, you know, affects our productivity. So maybe you can use that idea. And all right, some adjectives that you can use when talking about change we have fundamental, like fundamental change, drastic, profound, and important, uh, important change. So try using some of these adjectives. Next, uh, we have something you do to keep yourself fit and healthy. Examples, we have exercising, meditating, eating healthy foods, and getting enough sleep. So these are our common choices. Uh, just choose one or you can even combine two. For example, uh, talking about exercising and at the same time getting enough sleep. Uh, I think that's self-explanatory. So uh, just talk about the kind of exercise that you do that really helped you improve your physical or mental condition. Okay, so how it helped you, talked about that, uh, and add uh, the idea of getting enough sleep. Uh, like, how does sleeping enough uh, help you improve your physical and mental health? Uh, talk about it. I think that's enough uh, for you to speak uh, at length. Uh, for sure, this is really easy for you. Well, let's have this cue card about a special day out that didn't cost a lot of money. So what are those special days out activities 
that we normally do that we don't need to spend a lot of money well going to a museum and witnessing some art exhibit visiting a wildlife park or a zoo hiking perhaps and even going to a public beach well normally you don't need to pay when visiting a public beach all you need to do is buy some food now choose any of these and tell your examiner how special that day was and why you didn't need to spend a lot of money uh, i think uh, these are enough for you to uh, develop a better monologue okay so some adverbs uh, that you can use for the word cheap we have incredibly uh, ridiculously like ridiculously cheap extremely and amazingly so use some of these adverbs here we have a quiet place uh, describing a quiet place so it's so common to talk about a library here because basically a library is always quiet however if you're creative and imaginative you can make an interesting monologue on this topic so in my reviewer i simply talked about a cemetery or a graveyard i mentioned that it's my go-to place when i need to think things clearly especially if i have some uh, you know personal problems because you know the place is peaceful and uh, quiet the surroundings are beautiful because of the lovely trees and the evergreen view so it's a place that is quiet and at the same time relaxing so i visit this place from time to time because i also want to spend time with my grandma who was laid to rest in this uh, place uh, this place really helps me feel better <laughs> sounds weird and at the same time gives me hope in life uh, you know something like that um, anyway this is just a makeup story you know i just used my imagination uh, in order for me to you know come up with these ideas so if you use your imagination your imagination can really do wonders you should never underestimate your imagination let's proceed to describing a time when you got stuck in a traffic now let me give you five reasons why we normally get stuck in a traffic first is environmental reason foggy weather heavy rain and even extreme snowstorm second human caused for example car collision or car crash third mechanical failure that is the car encounters some mechanical problem like um, the tires go flat uh, or the engine is not working and this happens in the middle of the road so basically this causes so much traffic fourth is infrastructure uh, road widening or constructing some new roads uh, that of course causes traffic last is holidays when it's a national holiday a lot of people go out go to different places and this terribly causes a traffic think of these reasons just choose one which you believe you can develop more ideas so do your best to develop a great monologue you can do it the 20th cue card is about someone gave you a positive advice or suggestion I find it's easy because I think this is very relatable. Just think about your work or your interest in life. If you talk about your work, maybe your boss or your manager gave you a very important piece of advice to help you develop your skills. Well, this is very common, especially if you're so new in your company. Well, of course, you don't know a lot of things yet. So from time to time, uh, you need to ask questions or you make some mistakes. So that's uh, pretty normal. Um, I think we all experience this. So maybe one of your boss, one of your bosses or your managers uh, gave you a piece of advice. So think about it. If you're a student, so perhaps uh, uh, you can talk about uh, how your teacher or your friend um gave you a suggestion or a piece of advice 
on how to develop uh, good study habits. Uh, I think uh, that is uh, easy to uh, develop. Uh, I mean, you can develop more ideas on that. Now, if you want to talk about your interest in life, for instance, uh, you're into photography. Um, talk about uh, how you improved your photography skills. So maybe uh, a professional photographer gave you some wonderful pieces of advice on how to uh, capture amazing photos. Uh, yeah, when you relate this topic to your interest or to your work, you will never run out of things to say. You have a lot of things to say. All right, now here, some adjectives that you can use with, with the word advice. We have practical, helpful, sound, valuable, and helpful. So uh, these adjectives can surely help you. Let's continue to our next uh, cue card, and it's about a person you enjoy talking with. Uh, I think this is a piece of cake or very easy simply because there's always someone in our family or in our circle of friends who is really enjoyable to talk with. Uh, my advice here for you to express yourself better and for you to create a substantial monologue is to first talk about the character of this person. Maybe he is very funny, knowledgeable, practical, uh, convincing, and very sensible. Then talk about the topic that you usually talk with this person. For example, you enjoy uh, talking about finance with this person. You learn a lot of things about savings, early retirement, and uh, investing. Something like that. Then talk about how this person really influences you. Uh, for example, this person has improved your way of thinking. Or maybe this person has motivated you to uh, make your dreams come true. So when you use all of these things or these ideas, there's no reason why you can't make an interesting monologue. Next, we have here describing something that helped you save time. Well, if I get this cue card, I'll simply talk about uh, making a to-do list, uh, like writing uh, down the things that I have to do so that I'll be able to become productive. Uh, more often than not, uh, we aren't so productive, especially these days. We waste so much of our time because of so many distractions, such as the use of social media applications or watching movies online. So if we make a to-do list every single day, we are able to accomplish a lot of things. And of course, we're able to save so much time. Well, this is a very interesting um, example. You can actually use this to make your own monologue. This is simple. Let's move on to a difficult decision you made. For sure, you made a lot of difficult decisions in your life. Just choose one. Uh, choose the one that will help you express yourself very easily. Now, think about your situation now. I think most of you um, really want to work or study abroad. Uh, and let's say you consider it as the most difficult decision uh, you've ever made in your life because, yeah, basically, you don't know what's going to happen uh, once you are in a foreign land or in a foreign country. You consider living your home country as the most difficult decision um, you made because for sure you will leave your loved ones or friends. Uh, you need to start a new and a very uh, different uh, life and you need to learn how to interact with uh, people whose background or cultural background is completely different so that's really difficult i think uh, this is a very good example You're, or you can create a very good uh, monologue out of uh, this idea it's actually more relatable next cue card is about describing a place you visited not your hometown that you recommend others to live in well my advice here is to describe the place first uh, is the place agricultural or industrial? Or is the place advanced, luxurious, 
or modest. You must know that first in order for you to organize your ideas. For example, the place is agricultural. I recommend this place to my friends or my loved ones because the cost of living is incredibly cheap. Since it's an agricultural uh, town, the food is unbelievably cheap. You know, there's so much food supply in this uh, uh, town. Not only that, people living in that place are friendly, welcoming, and really loving. After that, talk about how this place uh, improves or would improve someone's life if one moves to this place. Uh, that's how you tell a story. Easy peasy. Get my sample reviewers now so you can study efficiently and see for yourself if you need the full version of my reviewers. Send me an email and I will send you the sample reviewers. I'll be waiting. Thank you for watching this video and give me a like or subscribe to the channel if you find value in this video. Well, I'll be posting videos related to the IELTS speaking test, so don't forget to subscribe. I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Bye.